rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's war will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Like a movie. Dark Trooper, release. Dark Troopers. These guys are scary. They look like the, the, the Michelin man, whatever, the, the marshmallow thing. <laughs> the the tire company, I think. They say what planet that was? That was the awkward, uh, <laughs> bit too long. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Here's our boy. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talle. It's a trap! Someone jiggle the uh, antenna. Tack base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack, except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand Very perceptive. what we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new stormtrooper that can take out a rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. Oh, so, so rogue. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. Alright, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission of And Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. Pretty in-depth cut, uh, cutscenes. Uh, it's good to see you, Carl. This is Jan. Uh, good job on Operation Skyhawk. The Rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to the mission hopping, just like the old days. Uh, Rebel Command has uh, made a brief uh, reconnaissance of the area and it's swarming with Imperial activity. Power is still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. We'll need to find the main hy hydroelectric power generator to get it back online. So it looks like that. And Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new Dark Trooper uh, we've been hearing about. Um, Crix Maydeen. Ah, oh, that's the person who wants to defect. Uh, defect. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything he may pick up. Good hunting, Carl. Ooh, so we start the power thing. Okay, cool. Go! Bye! Oop! Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone over there.
like, are those dead bodies or are they? Oh, nice, great. Um, but they were droids for a second. A little dark. It's Uncle Owen and uh, Aunt Brew. <laughs> oh man. Guys, this is what happens if you don't uh, go and uh, pick up those cat power converters. That's what happens. None of this would have happened. Hello. Oh. I think they'd like clean it up. I mean, like, Empire's kind of like a clean, utopian sort of uh, society in it. <laughs> Wouldn't they have the droids to do that? I don't know. Wow, that, that's trippy. This this feels like much longer than like you think it would be. Like... <laughs> using. Alright, so we could go down... Is there? Looks like there's... Yeah, in here. You're not authorized in this area, well you're not authorized to live. Uh, oh. Great thing about this, this is like the first game in the series, but they kind of nailed the formula, formula already. I mean, from there on it, it just became kind of like, ah, oh, the, the controls are better, ah, oh, the graphics are better. It's, it's still like the same game. <laughs> uh, seem like there was anything over there. Oh yeah, this looks this looks no way. Uh, I've only played through this game once, so forgive me if I, I'm a bit slow. Oops. The dark, dark room. Rebel scum? I'm not a rebel scum, I just work for them. Uh, there's a difference. Um, did I miss a message? Say I needed a key or something? I just... I have a feeling I just uh, missed... Oh, it's really dark, wow. Does the battery recharge or do I have to find batteries? Oh, hello. Independent contractor Rebel Scum. Exactly. I don't know if this is the best uh, strat to do it. <laughs> you have to find batteries, okay. Shorter. Um. Uh, I keep getting you can sprint, which is very helpful in terms of dodging things. Look at me! I'm definitely not a Jedi or anything. Alright, um... Okay. I the... What was the generator somewhere over here? Open. Open sesame, no. Oh, hello. Oh, run away from there. Ah. Can't really see. There's someone over there. I mean, that, I guess that's the point of this level so far. Oh, so many of them. Need to like. Can we can we make that jump? Trying it. Nope. Never mind. Maybe this is a secret area. Okay. Go through here. That works. Ooh. Just so many of them. Bees. <laughs> I 
I mean, like, I can't really do stealth or anything. This, this is this is my version of stealth. I'll go in there. Big map. I get lost. Oh, trying to lose our shields. Put a shield in there. Rebel scum. No. Get those guys. Right, so there, there's the generator, I think. That's what, um, I don't know how to get that, though. Over here, maybe? None of the doors are working. It's because, uh, it's because the, um, power's off. That's why. An idiot. Um... How do I, how do I work around that? Like, I saw that's, like, where they are. I we'll kind of want to get in there, I think. That would, like, put that release a bridge, I think, probably. There's like someone I need to pick a key up from. Oh, oh I apparently got them all in that one one uh, one hit. <laughs> I'm going there. I like shoot it. Hmm. It's like there's something we can shoot through here or something. Oh, don't fall off. One over there. Just a bunch of pixels, I can barely see it. I think that's a dying animation. Yeah, that's a dying animation. Um Maybe we need to or maybe we go down there. Maybe. Oh, uh, came up more. Hmm. Hey, how's it going, Toy First Century Guy? Welcome to uh, Pixels. This is the the Adam Sandler movie <laughs> Pixels. Uh, we're playing at uh, Dark Forces. This is like a. Uh, well, the first level is like Rogue One. Now, now we're now we're doing our own shit. Um, yeah, we're 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 this guy. How you doing? Happy May Fourth. Obviously, the reason we're playing this. I have no idea where to go. I'm already lost. So, well, I know where I know where it is, but I don't know how to like. I guess we'll go over there. Open up the map and kind of investigate. In a... No? Okay. Um... Like, we just want to get up here. There's just like a hole somewhere we're missing. We just jump up. These are Jedi powers. Like, uh, on the other side, there, there's something that's kind of... maybe? Like, that looks like um, we could go through it, but it's locked. Can we press something? Yeah, you can see through it. But how do we get through it? Like... Hello. Okay. So that looks like the right way. Oh no, you mean where Ola from Frozen has... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I don't think we watched the same movie. 
we go in here? This looks like a elevator thing. I don't know. Interesting. All right, let's go. We'll find it. We'll f we'll find it. Don't worry. Oh no. That's kind of where we want to get into, but we can't. Can't. Not 3D enough. Um. Interesting. Any um hints? Um. Uh, yeah, we kind of read all this, didn't we? Yeah, that, that's yeah. We want to we want to get here. Where's that? That's not there. <laughs> that happens in pixels. It isn't show, but it's very obviously implied. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't um seen pixels. Obviously, I don't. I obviously don't want to. Uh, you need to turn on the power first. Yeah, I know, but um, not quite sure how to do that. <laughs> Like, we were there. Unless, um, that's confusing and that's not really where we want to go. Yeah. I'm assuming the generator's there, but maybe it's... Maybe that's it? Go through the pitch black cantina era. Area down there. Um, okay, let's, let's get that out. Maps. If that's... Well, I'll, I'll just toggle it. Pitch Black Cantina area. We were there before, weren't we? I how to get back to there, though. Or maybe we just follow... Do we follow this? Oh, that, that looks like it, isn't it? How do we get back up? You can't make this up. I I, I don't want to know 21st century guy. That that's that's disturbing. Wait. How do we get back across? Oh, this way. Here we go. Probably just went past it because there's just like so many dudes here. You gonna die? Yeah, thanks. Like, how long have they been here that the bodies are like already like that? <laughs> Did they just set them on fire or? I guess they do. Um, over there as well. Can't oh, get him. Um, what's this Doom coin about? <laughs> this is a uh, Dark Forces. So this is like. It's the first first game in the Jedi Knight series. Um, I mean, they renamed it to Jedi Knight. Um, you play, you play Kyle Katarn, He's a he's a dude. He's like Han Solo, but he's not. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm I'm lost. I've no ju uh, just uh, just a heads up. I have no sense of direction, so I might be fumbling around a bit. Let's go this way. Oh, we just jump out here. Here we go. Here we go. So um, the first mission we um, we got the Death Star plans, you know, like like in Rogue One, except we did it better. Um, <laughs> then um, now now there's a new there's a new threat from the Empire. This is like straight after A New Hope, so it's like in, in between, kind of like Shadow of the Empire. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I've never played that, but it, it's yeah, it's definitely like that. But it's it's a different dude than that guy. I forget who that guy is. I should play. It. I've never played Shadows of the Empire. I should play that. Yeah, so we turned on the power, cool. Now now I think all the doors will work. 
Dash Renda, yes. For some reason I always I thought it was Dengar, but that then I realized that's the that's the bounty hunter dude. Oh uh, look, there's light. Let there be light. Ooh, now I can see. See. Still still pixels. There's actually um a mod for this game that um ports it to like OpenGL and you can um like it's all like it's actually 3D, but it's still the same game. I'm just kinda of wanna of play that, but um then it kinda of defeats the purpose of like the game. I think it makes it like actually makes it harder. I should have done it. Oh. Um, okay, how do we go? Go this way. Dark XL, it's buggy though. It was never finished. Oh really? That's a shame. I assumed it would have been finished, because I don't know. <laughs> I think I think I think um in my heart I wanted to play it, play this game, like being able to see it. <laughs> I own in early own on the old uh, N64. I got uh, Pro Jared to sign my copy. Nice. I've I've heard of that guy. Ooh, what's this? Is that another life? Yes, it is. Well, we're, we're on hard, but we haven't died yet. So this is no. This is where we start, wasn't it? Yeah, this all looks familiar. Hey, 21st century, not 21st. I, I read uh, 21st when he said, How's it going, Jeff? Thank you for the host. Good to see you, man. Playing some uh, good old Star Wars. This, this game is like a uh, labyrinth, so expect me to be an idiot. All right, we want to go this way. Hello. There we go. There we go. Bridge. Insert Doom mod joke here, pretty much. I mean, there's a little bit, a little bit more than Doom in terms of like puzzles, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much Doom. And like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like you can, there's, there's, there's a weird, there's a technical thing with it, isn't there? Like where things can go on top of each other, which is actually not something you're meant to be able to do. They did it because they're crazy. I don't know how to explain it. It's like um. <laughs> the maps. I was, I was doing good until Dave reminded me of pixels. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 21st. Yeah. I need to bind um, page up and down um, to the mouse wheel. That, I don't know how to do that. Isn't it like Alt F1? Nope, that's that's a screenshot. Big Control F1. Did I just destroy my game? Ah. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. It uses portals, so two rooms can occupy. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about, Princess Fury. Um, yeah, sorry. I um, looks like that. That's the shortcut to close the game. It's right. We know exactly where to go now. I'm sorry. <laughs> there, there's a there's a um, there's a shortcut in DOS box that opens up like the rebinding tool. Uh, that's what I was trying to do. Maybe. But you know what? I'll Google it. <laughs> Uh, DOS box rebind. Da 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 da. Probably like F12 or something, isn't it? Control F1. I thought I did that. There we go. Can we buy? I want to bind page up to mouse wheel up. I don't know how to do that. Can we do that? Don't think we can. We'll bind page up to um would be good uh to Z How do we do that? How do we do this? Bind key add Yeah, bind key Z. Oh can we do oh can we do No, it doesn't let us. That game OSC, why is it so distorted? Because it's from the 90s, that's why. <laughs> and uh, page down. Okay, Z and X. Now we can we can aim up and down a bit a bit uh, more. What's my call it? A bit more uh, what's my call it? 
I literally just said the same thing. All right, cool. Yeah, we, we, we've watched Go. Oh, Zed. Zed apparently is, um, shoot. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. We'll keep that in mind. So... In here. Speed run. This is a speed run now. Talk, still talking about pixels. Oh my god. Star Wars! Okay, right, cool. All the way. Like over here, wasn't it? In there, I think. Eh. Nope. Remember, no sense of direction. But not here. Like back from here. Hello. Find it. <laughs> May the fourth be with you all, yep. <laughs> Here we go. In there. Run out of ammo. Yeah, what you been up to, 21st century guy? Oh, power's on. These speed runs. more Persona 5 nights. Go around this way. One day I'll play that game. I don't know if I've said before, but RPGs in general, they usually, um, especially if they're not, if they're like console RPGs or like PC RPGs, where I can't play them in bed, like while lying down, I, they, they're kind of, they're daunting. Like, I feel like, is this working? Here we go, okay. Um, just, it's just a lot to take on, and I feel like I can't really, um, like, if I if I stop, um, I'll have to start again from the beginning. You know, they're just very, um, they're a commitment, RPGs. Oh, 
thought I was. What was our other objective? We need to find a clue, then we just need to return to land. I assume this green stuff is bad for me. I'm not going to jump into it. Something just tells me. Something tells me that. Ooh, the door's broke. Ooh. Oh, it's grass. Is it? <laughs> ah, it looked like like um, like acid or something. Fair enough. What is water? You can't you can't tell in these old games. It's it's something. So. Never played Persona. The problem with RPGs is they aren't games. You can pick up and play for 10 minutes and get bored quickly. I, I disagree. I, I think they're very much... They're kind of like novels. Um, dep depends also on the RPG. Some, some, sometimes I actually quite enjoy the combat in RPGs. Um, like the strategy and the tactical part of it. Yeah, it really depends on the game. But um, yeah, in most cases, I kind of treat them like... Almost like novels, like if the story is really good. Like in Pokemon, that the story is not good, so it's that I like the actual mechanics of Pokemon, so I can usually do that. But I can also play that in bed because it's portable. So I can put, put do it for like, you know, 30 minutes, then go to sleep <laughs> instead of um you know having to like invest sitting up in a seat and stuff like that. It's a lot, it's a lot of work. Talking about Western RPGs, yeah. Uh, Western RPGs, I don't I don't play many. The only Western RPG I've pretty much ever played is KOTOR, which we will play on this channel eventually. Um, and th those are specifically the ones I'm talking about in terms of, like, if I stop playing it, um, I feel like I have to start again. Because I can't really pick up where I left off. That's a lot of dudes. That's like, um, like that, <laughs> in the, that scene in Star Wars. I need to <laughs> rebind my keys again. I need to make sure Z, uh, Z doesn't Z and X don't do anything. Oh, we're out of ammo. Jeez. Oh no. Oh, we got we got punching. We'll just do this. <laughs> eh, eh. Slappers only. Be a bit more conservative with our ammo. I say that and I hit miss like three shots. It's hard to like get the auto aim to like completely work. Yeah. Hello. They really do just need to be in the middle of the screen, but it's kind of hard to tell because there's no reticule. Um. Control F1 was it? Uh. I want to bind Z to nothing. X to nothing. Oh, shooting up and down. There we go. Now, 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 now we're in business. Um, Persona 5 has an option that gives you a story, um, summary of the story. Yeah, I think that's a really good option. I quite uh, every game needs to every long game needs to do that, um, but also I feel like that's just not good enough because usually uh, I don't know if it, maybe it's just me but when when I um when I put down a game for a little bit and try to ret return to it it's usually because I've lost steam and um, I'm very likely I won't be able to pick it up again even if I try like I did that um, I've been playing. I've been playing through Kota 2. I've, I finished Kota 2 before, but I've been playing through like the restored content mod. And it's like the third time I've tried completing it, but I've never been able to complete it. And it's not because I don't like it. I love that game. Um, it's just something, something, something comes up, uh, a project comes up, or um, 
I'm not uh, doing it. I become very unwell or something, and I stop playing it. Then to um, oh, we picked up uh, <laughs> we picked up the objective while I was talking. Alright, let's um, but yeah, you know what I mean. It's um, we found the clue. I don't know what the clue was. Did anyone pick up like what it, what it was? Was it like a a document or something? Uh, return to, I, I assume return to landing landing pad means just go back where we started. The right way. So. Oh, it's a weapon. It's in my inventory. What do we what do we pick up? I don't know what the controls are. Which is better, Dark Forces or uh, Chex Quest? I don't know what Chex Quest is, but I'm going to assume it's way better. <laughs> um, I can't use it. Oh, okay. oh, it's in my inventory, right. So that's in in here. Oh yeah, I, I know um, I know we get to use it eventually. Oh, it's a Broken D, yeah, Broken Dark Trooper weapon, okay. Yeah, sorry I was uh, kind of talking, talking my head off then. But we found a weapon. I'll go through there, so jump through here. Gotta go retrieve it and take it back with us. It's a reconnaissance miss mission, if you guys couldn't tell, you know, with all the dead bodies everywhere. It's a stealth, stealth mission. Yeah, I'm sure it is 21st century. Yeah. It's just, there's so many games I want to play, and there's so many games that they just, they just intimidate me, unfortunately. Like, I would love to play the Mass Effect series. I'd love to play, um... Skyrim. I'd love to play, um... Lots, lots of games, pretty much. Like, just all... They just have a giant... I mean, like, this, this game's like, what? 10 hours, if I do it well? <laughs> Dark, Dark Forces is better than Chex Quest. What's Chex Quest? Is it is is it like this? Like it's a Doom clone? But uh, what what what's what's that game's uh, deal? Cantina. I'm lost. South. Let's go keep going south. That's wasn't in the west, wasn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. It wasn't clear. This looks this looks like the right way. Yeah. Pew pew pew. Oh, Chex Quest is just is just Doom, but it's an ad. So it's like this, it's literally the same like code, but they just swap out the sprites. That's pretty great. <laughs> Man, we need we need more games than like that nowadays. Just just for like jokes, the memes. Hello. How do I go like that? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I um I don't know um we 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 don't have to check cereal here. What what was the like the mascot and stuff? We don't we don't have many like uh I'm trying to think of the in Australia we don't have many like mascot cereal to greet. I mean it's probably also cuz it was back back in the day, but um I'm trying to think uh, they were always like American ones, the ones I, I can think of. This place? There it is, yeah. Mission objectives complete. Ooh. You can actually complete the mission without completing everything, and so you just have to do it again. So that, that, that's why I'm so like, 
making sure I've done everything. <sighs> that thing you found was a weapon of some sort, too large for a human being to use. Most likely, it's a prototype weapon for the Dark Trooper. Pretty sure we get to use that though, eventually. I found the simple the symbol MR on the barrel, the signature of an infamous weapon specialist named Moff Rebus. <laughs> That's him, apparently. The real character known for his uh, paranoia and extreme loyalty to the Empire. Probably does that, just because like, scared. Um, he may uh, be our next lead to the Dark Trooper tr project. Okay. Fine, dude. Rebus has uh, hidden himself somewhere deep within the sewage system under the city of uh, An Noet. He has engineered an elaborate series of drain gates, which is... Oh, I remember this one. This one sucked. Uh, this any intruders from discovering these switches? Um, what did I? I, I skipped the line, did I? The route to his lab, yeah. Activate switches, guard droids, sewer maze, yay! Decontamination shower, okay, so it's, uh, it's probably gonna kill us. <laughs> Alright, bring it on. I don't think Chex che has a mascot, at least not anymore. Yeah, like, I don't know anything about Chex. Alright. Is this, yeah, this is the level I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello! Power cell. Is that ammo, or is that, is that battery? Chex are kind of like square crispies. Oh! That, that, that like made me like <laughs> oh, I remember those um oh hello fair enough square crispix I thought crispix was square as well but I guess they're a little bit more rectangular all right Jeff thank thanks for stopping by thank you for the host as well have a, have a good sleep, man. Hello. Oh, okay, here we go. This one's a little uh, slower paced, it thinks. I, I was expecting someone. Oh, there's things over there. Can we... Can we shoot through it? Yeah, we can shoot through it. Can we go through it? Yes, not. Test for science. Okay, so it, it it won't. It just smells bad. But it would have hurt us. Can't go in there yet. Forever. Oh hey, you're not gonna believe this. Sarah invited me to see Detective Pikachu next Friday. Why didn't she invite me? Jeez. That's not fair. I want to see Detective Pikachu. Alright, okay, this looks like a, like a something. So, I assume it goes to the different dots. Oh, maybe it opens one of the doors. Which door did it open? That one? Probably that one. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy man. I'm, I'm weirdly, um... Is that an item? I can't tell. Oh, hello! Hello. Okay. <laughs> we pick those up? Yeah. Thermal detonator. Okay. That is a good question. It is. Ah. Yeah, it's already been an hour, hasn't it? Jeez. This game does, like, kind of capture you in terms of, like, 
What the hell am I looking at? I've got to focus. <laughs> what, di uh, di dino gas? Is that what this is? Oh, the, uh, the, the monster. You, you know your Star Wars, uh, Princess Ruri. Hello. Okay, so that goes down somewhere. Like, uh... Oh, hello. Oh, I'm... Dying. That was close. Ah, didn't even see that. It's so tiny. Ah, oh, rude. One over there as well. I'm just gonna leave him. Let's open that door. What happens if we go down here? Uh, is that safe? 